Elena and you're watching Island Images. Today we're at the Guam Art Exhibit in Tumon, also known as GAX, where we have a lot of local artists exhibiting their work and they actually have a live show going on right now, so we're going to check it out. We're here with Josh Eggerstrand, who's the curator of the show. Josh, can you tell us what is GAX? Uh, basically, it's a show of over 30 artists ranging from different mediums and disciplines. Uh, some are professional artists, some are uh, amateurs, some, you know, it's, it's all across the board and different kinds of art. Uh, mainly stuff you might not see in hotels and stuff you might not see in other galleries. We're trying to embrace artists who don't fit into the, uh, into the realm of traditional work like, uh, you know, mosaics or florals or, or sunsets and that kind of stuff. We kind of avoid it just so that these artists who do not that have the freedom to try something new and something different. So we're here with Jeff Egan. He's one of the painters here, the live artist here at GAC. Uh, Jeff, can you tell me what kind of art do you do? Uh, I do a lot of uh, surrealism. I'm a painter, so I, I mostly do with uh, acrylic and sometimes with oil. Sometimes I mix both. I wanted to do beautiful paintings where it lures people to come in, and then later on I want them to understand, like, oh wow, there's something different. Nice. It's like reading a book, and you're like, oh man, this is such a good book. But what is the message that the book's trying to portray? I, you know, with a lot of artists, you ask them what it means, they don't want to tell you. So, I, I don't want to try to interpret it for anyone, because the, the, the beauty of this piece is there's so much mystery. There's, like, you're trying to think, what is this diagram? Why is there a burger in the middle? Are those Americans? Are those Asians? Is it, what, you know, what war is it? What year is it? Now, it's clearly something political, I think. That kid, he's 16 years old, I want to talk about that. So this kid, Dylan, he's only 16 years old. See, he goes to FD. And when I was 16, I didn't know anyone who had this much style. You know, what he's starting from at 16 is amazing. What is he gonna be like when he's 25? What can he reach when he's 25? There's so much potential. Why do you think that this is important to show the community of Guam? I think when you show off the community and what we have to offer, it shows our diversity. The idea is to get them to collaborate with each other, make all these artists know each other so we can create a community. Because when we started out, there wasn't too much of a big community. It was a small, you know, you know, those guys are friends, and those painters are friends, and those teachers are friends. But there wasn't a big thing where everyone was able to come together and meet each other and collaborate and communicate and trade ideas about each other. And, you know, when this artist sees that artist, he's like, man, that guy's so good. I gotta try harder, you know? That, that community building is everything that we're trying to do here. Well, that's all for our show for today. Thank you for watching and tune in for the next Island Images. Just one.